In this lecture, we'll see an important concept of radiation, which is called as the black body radiation, which defines what an ideal emitter and absorber is. A black body is defined as a body that absorbs all incident radiation essentially means that there is no reflection or transmission. Another, another property of black body radiation is that no surface can emit more than the black body. So the black body emission is also the maximum. It also absorbs all the thing that hits on it. So it's both absorption and emission. The so common misconception is that a black body is something which just absorbs everything that is thrown at it. It's not that, it also emits the maximum. A diffuse emitter, it is black body is a diffuse emitter. Uh, it, it is having spectral dependence, but no directional dependence. So spectral means there is dependent on lambda, that's wavelength, but it's not dependent on the direction. A good mod model for the black body, there are no ideal black bodies, although some pigments uh, approximate black body radiation. But a good model for uh, black body radiation is what is known as the cavity model. So cavity model, you have a hollow cavity, irregular shape with a small hole on the top. And the outer surface is maintained at a constant temperature so anything that is incident through this uh, hole, so this, this black body has got this hole as the, uh, where it can, something can enter. So it enters this uh, black body and it's not, even if this surface is non-ideal, that it, it has reflection. So this surface might have reflection. So it reflects, reflects and goes here and there. But at every, so this becomes an irradiation flux. So there is something that gets absorbed, something gets reflected, but nothing gets transmitted. So this is all um, opaque surfaces. So it gets reflected several times and maybe a small thing might go out. So the reflected portion is actually very small because most of it by reflection, reflection, it will keep on reducing the intensity and nothing of the actual incident thing will get reflected. Let's say the first reflection, um, ten, uh, say 50% get reflected. Then it becomes 25. Then it becomes 12.5 uh, and half, half, half and half. So at very small time, only a small portion will go. So effectively the thing that goes out is negligible because this hole is small and uh, very small amount will get reflected. So this, cavity with a hole that way absorbs all incident radiation and nothing is reflected. And this surface is coated and therefore there is no transmission. So that is, it satisfies the first condition. No surface can emit more than that of a black body. That cannot be directly proved here, but that is just a definition. We'll, we'll see that in a later uh, lecture. The third point that it has to be a diffuse emitter. Why is it a diffuse emitter? Now, all the thing that has been uh, reflecting here gets absorbed. And since the temperature is maintained at a uniform uh, temperature T, each of the temperatures, each of the surface points will be emitting some radiation because everything at a finite temperature emits radiation, this also will emit some radiation. So that is the maximum radiation that each point will emit. And this, because this is an irregular surface, anything that goes out, remember anything that goes out is a sum of reflection as well as emission. So we are saying that reflection is nearly zero because it is all reflected and absorbed. So what is emission is, what is coming out is mainly emission. And because it is coming from, emission is coming from various irregular surfaces, what comes out is diffuse. And it is uniform in, uh, basically it's uniform in all directions and, but it could be function of lambda, but it's uniform in all directions. So therefore it is diffuse. 
and the emission is dependent only on temperature there is no other parameter there is no reflection or anything that is coming out of this so main thing that is coming out is just dependent only on temperature and if it's dependent only on temperature then that becomes a black body radiation for black body radiation there is a theoretical distribution of the spectral power the spectral power which is e as a function of uh, when is spectral power it means that it is a function of lambda the spectral emissive power of a black body which is watt per meter square per micrometer is given by these lines the distribution is called as the planck distribution of the spectral intensity or emissive uh, power so here you see that for every temperature there is a distribution so at uh, 50 kelvin the temperature the spectral emissive power is like this essentially it means that the uh, wavelength of around uh, 70 to 80 60 is the maximum and below uh, 20 it's nearly insignificant on the other end we have 5800 which is roughly the temperature surface temperature of sun the surface temperature of sun has got a peak in the visible range so anything that comes out from the sun has got a peak in the visible spectrum of the wavelength so so this uh, distribution is proportional to the inverse of lambda per phi and uh, there's this planck constant velocity of uh, speed of light and uh, boltzmann constant the distribution of the maxima of these uh, peaks uh, of this just uh, of this spectral emissive power these peaks follow a law called as the wien's uh, displacement law lambda max which is lambda max here times the temperature so for this lambda lambda max would be around say uh, 500 times the temperature this 500 uh, nanometers or 0.5 microns times the temperature is 5800 so the product of this maximum lambda and the temperature is a constant given by 2898 which you can simply get by uh, differentiating this and finding out the maximum not only that you can integrate this over the entire wavelength and then uh, get the area under this curve so the area under the curve will have a unit of again watt per uh, meter square so that is the famous stefan boltzmann's law sigma t power 4 so this in, this is a integral that can be st integrated straight forwardly so you get directly sigma t power 4 so sigma t power 4 is the emissive power of total emissive power of a, a black body that is integrated over all wavelengths with respect to black body another important concept which is useful for doing some calculations is what is known as the band emission so here we have uh, emissive power at a given wavelength the spectral emissive power which means it's a function of lambda now integrating this uh, so this total area is nothing but the stefan's boltzmann uh, law which is sigma t power now if you want to find the area up to a given lambda that is 0 to lambda of e lambda divided by the total area so the fraction of the shaded area to the total area is called as this f function so this is fraction of 0 to lambda to the total area and the total area we know from stefan boltzmann law is uh, sigma t power 4 so we can do some small uh, um, arithmetic 
around this. And notice that uh, we are evaluating this at a temperature T, which means on the right hand side of the integral, T is a constant. T is a constant here and you can pull it inside the integral and say it is sigma t power 4 of the entire integral d lambda. And then you multiply and divide by lambda. So you get uh, t d lambda divided by sigma t power 5. So t d lambda, you can write it as uh, dt lambda minus plus lambda dt. Now, since t is constant here, we just pulled it inside the integral. This is 0. So t t d lambda is nothing but d lambda t. So d lambda t is multiplied divided by t, you get sigma t power 5. Now, if you look at this expression, e lambda by sigma t power 5 and substitute from the Planck's uh, distribution, and this you have uh, lambda power 5 coming from the uh, Planck's distribution and t power 5 coming from here. And if you collect all the lambda t terms, so here it is lambda t power phi, and in the exponent also you have hc by k lambda t. So this lambda t comes as a product, here also it comes as a product, and this differential is also in terms of the lambda t product. So what essentially it means that this integral is a function of only the product lambda t and not not, you don't have to have individually lambda and t. It's something like a, a scaled variable, lambda t. So entire function is not an individual function of lambda and t separately, but is a combined function of lambda times t. So the tab there are tables available for this uh, f function as a function of lambda t. And uh, there are problems that we will see where we can use this uh, tables to calculate some uh, useful calc uh, quantities during our uh, engineering approximations. To summarize, a black body is an ideal absorber as well as an ideal emitter, and it sets the base for comparison of sail surfaces. Thank you.